Welcome. Hi, guys. <laughs> I, of course, see Paul regularly, but hi, Boyd. So great Hello. to see you. <laughs> so this is our Chorister Spotlight. Uh, star date, as Paul was saying, star date May 31st. Um, and for those of you who have seen us on stage but maybe don't remember our names, I'm Christina. I sing in the soprano section. I'm uh, Boyd Hansen, singing in the tenor section. I've been with Luminous pretty much since the beginning of the formation of the group. And Paul Grindley singing bass in the group and uh, just pretty much directly upstairs from Christina at this point. Most <laughs> of the time. Yeah, we decided to go on separate screens. But yeah, if it wasn't obvious, Paul and I are married to each other. <laughs> mm -hmm. So um, I guess this is our opportunity to check in and just see what's going on and um you know in our conversation now, with what each have other. you been up to <laughs> <laughs> well i've been dying to get into the mountains background that's why i have the background there um i did get into the mountains for the first time on thursday i was able to rearrange my work schedule and i had a most how are the crowds out there day. um thursday midweek no crowds. Not too bad. Yeah, we saw, so we, I hiked Mount Baldy and we barely saw anybody. I think we saw six people, six other people on the trail. And there were We're thinking five. about going on Friday. Oh, to nice. Do some hiking souls. Yeah. Yeah. And oh my gosh, I've never seen the, those outhouses so clean. Like they have really, really sanitized <laughs> them. So I hope that people keep people. them that way. Yeah. So I hope people keep them that way because it was really great. <laughs> what have you been up to Boyd? Um, in terms of work it's pretty much the same because my job is electrical engineering so I work within integrated circuit design so I can do my job here at home as just as well as I can at work. Nice. And our company is doing fairly well because our products are sold into internet data centers so your Google, mm. Facebook, Netflix, all these big data centers, Zoom. Yes, right. Carrying the signals that those services use. So it, our products are selling well. Nice. It must be kind of cool to, to actually do that work and know that how much your work affects everybody really in the world who's using those technologies. Yeah, it's really exploded since COVID. Everyone's working at home and they need to rely on the internet connectivity. And that's what my job enables. Yeah, amazing. Yeah, we were feeling the, the deprivation, our Wi-Fi went down this morning. <laughs> and we were Just, like, okay, that's fine. I'm like, okay, I can live with that. And then after three or four hours and trying things, I was just, I was very relieved to get it back. <laughs> yeah, so from that perspective, I basically are just in the basement office and it's the same as being in the regular right. office aside from just the isolation. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <You> get, <laughs> I'm kidding. Sitting there. Paul, how about you? you? You've had a lot of changes. We've had a lot of changes, yeah. I mean, as a performing artist, as a, a teacher, um, a conductor, I've lost a lot of work. And um, there was a lot of sort of loss and grieving involved early on. Uh, I still, you know, both of us, both you and I, Tina, we still look longingly at the calendar and, and, and you know, saw Luminous Voices tour out to Ottawa mm -hmm. and Montreal, come and go without us going anywhere, of course. And, and uh, at the moment, we would have been in Spain. Um, so, um, mm. you know, we've lost, you know, you kind of grieve those those lost plans um, and the last work. Um, we've been walking a lot, Tina and I, and um, I see Tina, Christina, um, in Northwest Parks, uh, Confederation Park, Canmore Park, Nose Hill. So, so that's been lovely. Um, just getting out into nature and uh, the fresh air and the exercise has been important. Um, That's been, been a good what, thing. Yeah. Sorry, Paul. Go ahead. Just slowing things down a bit. Like it's allowed us to spend all much more time together. Mm -hmm. yeah. Slow down. Yeah. I love seeing how many people are outside, you know, on the pathway just behind our house. Um, we watched quite a few movies. We, we saw, we watched the whole Harry Potter series and uh, just finished <laughs> Lord of the Rings 
and uh, Tina did lots of puzzles, and we both did. I did a puzzle too, yeah. Me yeah. and my wife, yeah, it's fun. Sudoku, um, and then of course you get into the whole cooking thing. Um, I, I made some sushi. We made some sushi together. We did some poke. Tina's been baking lots of cookies. I made a cheesecake the other day. It wasn't so great, but we ate it. Um, <laughs> It was fun. I started doing I started doing cookies too and I found like a latent baking gene that I never knew existed. Oh, chocolate chip that. cookies. I mean, you know, you know what? I I see a connection between engineering and baking cuz baking requires that fastidious oh, yeah. attention to detail measurements sort of Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. I really I'm, not, I'm not so good at baking because of that reason. I I tend to improvise, so. Yeah. Oh yeah. Paul's the jazz guy in the in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> One of the things that I've noticed lately, um, you know, because we're not singing very much. I mean, Paul has his church job and, and mm -hmm. there are four of us who record stuff for the services. So there's a little bit of singing we're still doing. But um, I've noticed more and more, like, I'll go and listen to, let's say, a favorite choral piece. And I'll find myself really choked up listening, just oh, yeah. even listening to it because I'm feeling how much I miss it even now just talking about it mm. I I can't wait to get back to the singing right and and you know it has been wonderful to be able to do these virtual church services and 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 just just with a quartet and to at least sing a little bit um um poetry has also been a, a big thing for me I, I love to write poetry and I've been writing a lot of poetry I also feel very fortunate that um I was in the in the process of uh, rehearsing uh, a Schumann song cycle, Dichte Liebe, with Suzanne Ruberg Gordon uh, for recitals in the fall, and we realized that we could continue to um, rehearse this together, you know, at a bit of a social distance and carefully, and you know, in and we've been continuing to do that. And uh, I shared a few little, little re uh, rehearsal videos with people and, and, and had, a, had a really enthusiastic uptake from the red carpet recital series at Knox Presbyterian who said, oh, you must record it uh, at, for a virtual recital because of course the recital series was canceled. So this, uh, this recital uh, has been recorded and we've, uh, I've edited it and put it together. And that's going to be released um, this coming Friday, June 5th at noon, mm -hmm. and it'll be available for a week. That'll be on the Knox Presbyterian YouTube channel. Um, and uh, that, that was, a, was a real godsend. What's really interesting here is that because it's a virtual thing, I, at this point with the recording all done, I feel sort of that postpartum sort of, oh my gosh, the project's done even though the actual sort of public presentation of it has not yet happened. Yeah, and you don't know the reaction. Yeah, exactly. People will have. Yeah. yeah. What have you um, had any opportunities to do any singing or? Not too much. Um, there is a project going on, which is a virtual choir project. So I did do my audio for that, but I haven't right. seen any, anything in terms of the final production of that. So we'll see. I still How have to you... do the video, but ah, the audio right. is done. Oh, okay. And how did you find that um, experience of, of doing that? Because I've not, I've not done one yet. Actually, I've said I'd be willing to, but <laughs> I've just gotten the instructions. I haven't done one yet. Once you get into it, it's, it's fine. It's just a bit different from live performance where you're basically listening to your other members of the choir in very close, close quarters and working that way. Whereas with the video and the audio, you're just sort of just on your own and making the best of it mm -hmm. you're singing along to a track are you yeah it's a video conducting track and then there's the audio along with it so you can you can synchronize yourself okay with, mm -hmm. yeah neat but well, it's definitely not a live performance <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah as tina said you know um we I, I think we realize in a heightened way how much we love what we do and 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 how much we miss that I feel so grateful to still be able to, to teach uh, some voice lessons over Zoom and, and uh, FaceTime. And I feel, you know, each one of those lessons, I feel myself just 
being so much more thankful for those opportunities at the moment when there's so little else going on and, and um, mm -hmm. really enjoying working mm -hmm. with my students. Well, we want to just share for those of you who are watching this, who are our Luminous supporters, want to share with you that we're releasing um, a new CD very soon of a Peter Tony, um, basically a disc um, focusing on Peter Tony music and, and focusing on this um, new work that he wrote for us um, called Sea Dreams that features Luminous with two flautists. And uh, so just wanted to encourage you guys to keep an eye out for that. That'll be coming out soon and um, we'll be sharing that with you. And that's one way that we can still connect with you, our audience, even though we can't be in the same room with each other and with you. That's a way for us to still share our music with you. So I wanted to wish all of you really well and wanted to thank you for your continued support. Um, you know, for me being on the Luminous Voices board as well. Um, you know, I, I hear the stories about people who continue to send us money and say what you do is so important and, uh, you know, you'll be back in some form or another. So mm -hmm. we really want you to still be around. <laughs> so yeah, the, the some form or another, of course, is a, is a, it, we're trying to figure out, and and uh, Christina has been involved in this. How how we can move forward with these uh, unfortunate realizations that singing is a is a hazardous sort of thing at the moment because of the the, the spread of uh, water droplets. Um, so maybe looking at the possibility of some outdoor performances, we, I think that would be really mm -hmm. exciting and fun and a, a way to do it. And, and some virtual things as well, at least until we can uh, get back on stage with, uh, with our audience. Mm -hmm. Well, stay tuned. Thanks for listening. Nice to stay see you, safe. Boyd. Take care. Bye. See you, Boyd. Good talking with Bye. you guys. Bye. Bye.